But item number one, we wanted to announce that last week we asked our friends around the world, both locally and internationally, to be able to support us to deal with this pandemic. So this morning, I am happy to announce that some of the friends have started coming through on matters, food, and nutrition program. We are on cause. There's a lot of goodwill from our friends locally and our friends internationally. So every announcement that we had made earlier is on cause. What we want to say and reiterate here today, this fight requires collective effort. So therefore, we as a county, we want to do or we continue to do all that we can, both to help our people and support, implement the programs issued by the national government. The guidelines that are national and also what we are able to do as a committee here in Mombasa, bo chaired both by myself and the county commissioner. So ladies and gentlemen, what you see here, the boxes that you see here, these are 10 ventilators donated to us by our friends. We have a famous friend that is known in Mombasa by the name of Ahmed Al-Falasi. This gentleman, this year, he won a program that is supported by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, the ruler of Dubai, the Prime Minister of UAE, and the Vice President of UAE. That is called the Hope Maker. So last week we made a call to the winner of Hope Maker 2020, giving an appeal that we see a shortage of ventilators in our hospitals. So on behalf of Mombasa and the people of Kenya, I want to personally thank Mr. Ahmed Mohammed Al Falasi. I want to thank His Highness the ruler of Dubai, the Prime Minister of UAE, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, for the initiative that gives the people of UAE incentive to want to help more people and change lives and save lives. So today, we have received here, and we will show you 10 ventilators, and I would invite Dr. Iqbal Kandwala to give us the details of ventilators, because we all know, under the circumstances, every hospital, all they start to look for now is ventilators and monitors. So Iqbal, very briefly, you need to tell us the kind of ventilators, and then we will finish with our remarks, and then the county commissioner also will make some announcements. Please, Iqbal Kandwala. Don't touch this. Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, we all know the pandemic that has affected uh, every, each and every person globally. And for us in Mombasa County, we are actually preparing ourselves. We are a couple of weeks behind Europe. So if, if all of us have been following the news in the U.S., in Italy, in Spain, especially now that the U.S., everybody is looking for ventilators. In New York, we know that they're looking for 30,000 ventilators. So we will get to that stage uh, maybe in a couple of weeks, but we need to be prepared. And uh, I want to thank uh, Sheikh Falasi, a friend of course General Hospital in Mombasa County, and uh, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed for this generous donation. The ventilators we have are high-end uh, ventilators. Uh, they are Draga ventilators, Evita XL, made in Germany. They can ventilate non-invasive ventilation, and also they can do invasive ventilation. So they are the state-of-art ventilators, and they are going to come in uh, very useful for us at this stage. Uh, we have already started receiving cases 
and currently as we speak in our isolation ward we have about six cases uh, that are currently with us the ones that we are uh, the ones that we are treating once we any of the patients exhibit any kind of respiratory distress which normally occurs in the elderly where they have a sort of a pneumonia and they cannot their lungs cannot uh, get enough oxygen they need to be put on ventilatory support and this generous uh, gesture by Sheikh Al Falasi, Your Excellency, and uh, uh, Mombasa County population will really go a long way into helping us. Do we need more? The answer is yes. So I think uh, my polite request to the business community is also support uh, the gesture of uh, Sheikh Al Falasi and help the situation. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. How many did we buy ourselves? Uh, we we got ten that are over here from uh, Sheikh Al Falasi with Mombasa County uh, revenue. We bought another eight new ventilators also of similar quality. So we will be having 18 ventilators new ones. And the old ones that we have. together with these ones. And the ones that we had previously are 12. So we have 18 plus 12. But our capacity, initial capacity after discussing with the, the medical fraternity, both the public and private, is to set up an immediate uh, 50 ventilatory support systems uh, to assist us in the critical care. The way it, it will work, we are doing a flow chart of the whole county, how the patients are going to flow from the private sector, which private sector is going to deal with what, the public sector will deal with what. And for Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital, it will be set up to to support 50 critical care patients uh, so that we are prepared uh, that the patients that go into this kind of um, illness, the severe illness, we will try our level best to get them out of it. Uh, thank you very much. So this is the initiative. We have bought our own. We've gotten friends that have donated, have donated 10 state-of-the-art ventilators and we are asking for more we are asking everybody to take part and contribute. You know, I keep repeating, this is that point in life where everyone needs to ask themselves what it is that they could do to assist, to help your neighbor, to care for your community. So for me, I urge the private sector, the corporate sector, what you do today shall be remembered for many years to come. And I am grateful that there's good gesture. We said earlier that this is a collective responsibility. We are now seeing good gesture. So mine is to say there are a rift of measures that have been put in place, that some we have agreed as a committee will be announced by myself and my co-chair, who is the county commissioner. But I can tell you we need to prepare ourselves, remember, my point is that we here at grassroots level, the counties, need to make our own initiatives. And then at some point, we should be able to ask the national government to keep supporting us. There is one thing that I want us to do. Beginning next week, and we are in, we are in a conversation with national government, in Mombasa, we shall start our mass testing. Today, as we speak, we have CPR equipment that has been installed in the Coast General Hospital. We have another CPR machine that has been donated to us by the Washington University. So what we are going to do is to get or to, to ensure we buy enough consumables so that we even begin street testing. So my humble appeal to all of you is that when we are ready next week, our hope is that we should be able to do this beginning Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. When we are knocking at your doors, when we are stopping you at our streets, just remember, this is for the larger good of all of us. We should be having a capacity of testing probably five to 600 people in a day with the kind of equipment that we're going to be having, that we already have. The only thing that we are getting to, to, to ensure we mobilize to, in, uh, together with national government is the consumables. So please, members of the public, when you are asked to test, remember, you are doing it for yourself. And if you don't want to do it for yourself, 
Do it for your family. And do it for the people you love. And let's all do it for our country. Because collectively as a people, is then we shall be able to say we are succeeding in turning around the curve. Right now, as it is, facts as they are, it's going high. We need to get to a turning point where numbers will be reducing and eventually being able to flatten the curve. That can only be achieved when all of us take responsibility. For example, we saw a lady and the daughter some two days ago at the ferry wearing plastic bottle as a mask. We saw it. It touched our hearts. But the positive side to it is that she appreciates that something has to be done. And that gives us the responsibility as leadership to ask ourselves, what is it that we need to do? So we brought the lady here, me and the county commissioner brought the lady here. We're going to see her. We're going to give her some masks. We're going to give her some incentives to try and do business from at home. But then the bigger announcement on our plan matters mask. I will leave that to my co-chair to make the announcement. Moshima County Commissioner, rem remember not to touch this. I've been touching it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> I'll do it in English, then I'll change it to Kiswahili. First of all, I want to thank people of goodwill who have been assisting us from time to time. We really appreciate that. Secondly, I also want to advise our people that please follow the advice which we are giving and which is being given by the public health officials. That way we will be safe. The announcement I will make is the EPZs in Mombasa, that is the export processing zones, have accepted to give us one million masks. And once we get the one million masks, we will ask the people of Mombasa that now it will be compulsory for them to put it on when they are in public places. That one will save us a lot of trouble. Kwa wanainji wetu tunashukuru wale wanatusaidia wa isani, ambao wanatusaidia na vitu mbalimbali hapa na pale. Na wale wa export processing zone, wale wanatengeneza nguo ambazo zinauzu wa inje, wamekubali kutengeneze mask ya kufaa kwenye uso ambazo ni milioni moja. Na wakati sitakuwa tayari, tutaomba wakazi wote wa Mombasa kwa sababu tutapeana free kwamba wavae kila wakati wakiwa kwenye umati wa watu. Na pia ningependa kuwasii tafadhali sana. Pada maagizo ya watu wa afya, pada maagizo ya serikali, hiyo ndiyo njia ambayo tutusaidia kuzuia kusambaa kwa hiyo ugonjwa. Kuna baadhi ya vitu ambazo tumesema, moja ni eh, mambo ya kuusa mitumba. Tumesema mitumba isiuzwe kwa sababu mitumba kawaida yake inachaguliwa na watu na sakuta nguo moja imeshikwa na watu wa msini kwa siku ama mia moja. Tungependa sana wasitishe hiyo biashara kwa muda mfupi. Na kuna vile, eh, vile vile pia vitu zingine ambazo tunasema isifanyike. Kwa hivyo tunaomba kwamba ile jambo ambalo imesemekana isifanywe tafadhali yaache. Tunashukuru upande wa feri, watu wameanza kufuata maagizo. Lakini nataka bado ufuate zaidi kwa sababu bado kuna matatizo katika sehemu za kusubiri kuabiri feri. Na pia vile vile mambo ya kavi usiku watu wote wabakie nyumbani. Wasivunje hiyo kavio. Tukifuata mambo hayo nina hakika kwamba tutashinda hizi vita dhidi ya COVID-19. Asante. So, tumesema biashara ambayo itaendelea sahi, you need to spread, one of you come, come to this side. It's essential business, so mitumba, na biashara zengi, tumefunga ba, tumefunga madisco, hata mira, tumesema, is, you are susceptible to pick these things from the least expected area. So, tafadhalini, we are cautioning you. 
One final point that I want to share with you before we show you the ventilators and the disinfectant that we got, or two points. We have asked our engineers to design a mass disinfectant equipment that we shall soon be installing at the ferry, where you walk by, you are disinfected, and then you proceed to your journey. You tafanya. Engine ambayo caution. We are observing carefully the private hospitals in Mombasa. We are watching you. We know of cases that you have dealt with. Unfortunately, we know of a case where someone has passed on last night. We are going to be ensuring that you have provided necessary support when a patient walks in into your hospital. If they need to be put on ventilators and you refuse to do so because of matters bills, because of matter selfish interests, so that you don't want to say you have utilized your equipment for a COVID-19 patient, our position as a county collectively is that we shall be asking the national government, we shall be asking for DPP when we hear of a situation where private hospital has turned away a patient, we shall be asking for prosecution. So private hospitals, be careful, because we are keenly watching your behavior during this time. Mwisho kabisa tunataka ku kumintoduzi umama hapa. Kujia hapa karibu mama, tukushukuru. Tukushukuru tusonga hapa karibu tu. Hapo tu. Tukushukuru kwa kuvaa hata kama ulivaa chupa lakini you were sending a message that people needed to take care of themselves. That is the message that we got out here. That ulivaa kwa sababu nataka kulinda maisha yako na maisha ya mtoto wako na familia yako. Our humble appeal to other citizens in our great country. Learn from her. She did not sit at home with an excuse that Mimi seen a mask. She tried to improvise. We are not sure medically whether that works or not. But we are picking the message from a positive perspective. So, two things we are going to do. We are going to provide her with necessary masks. And together, as a committee, we have decided we will support her. Afanya biashara zake kule nyumbani. So, the committee here in Mombasa has awarded her 100,000 shillings to do your business in Mombasa. And try as much as you can, stay at home, take care of your children. County Commissioner, you will present this. Nita kukabithi hii, lakini kwa huo muda wote wa kama hii ugonjo bado hiko, ubakia nyumbani, fanya mambayako karibu na nyumbani. Sio? Ini elf miya moja. Asante. You can proceed. Go. Umebeba masks za kutosha? Umepewa? Haya mpatia ni masks za kutosha na apiane majirani zake kule. Any question? Muna swali? Haya mama enda. Okay. Okay. I have a question and uh, this has to do with uh, this I don't know if it's also concerned the, the county commissioner. We're both here anyway. Kuna baadhi ya wakazi wanalalamika wanasema kwamba kuna watu machifu wanakuja wanachukua majina ya watu wanawaandikisha wengine wanaachwa nyuma msimamo uko wapi na swala hili ndalishuhulika hivi manake wanaona kwamba tutaachwa nyuma endapo kutakuwa na lockdown na kutakuwa na kusambazwa kwa vyakula so nijibu upande wangu alafu probably county commission anaweza jibu lakini the point is this what we are basically doing today is to collect data. We want to know our people. And we have asked both the sub-county administration on the side of the county government and the, the national administration on the side of the county commissioner. Just to tell us, Mashinani, what Uninani. But let me tell you, we have just concluded census. There is Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. We are going to pick information from there. We are only trying to put mechanisms in place to be able to verify, to know what wetu ni wangapi na wako wapi. Lakini nobody should be worried because we, we are preparing ourselves to a point when we need to go to a lockdown or when we go to a lockdown, we know where you are and how we shall reach you. 
So all this is preparation. So what was singe kusuasua because Mungu atulinde. But when we get to a point when we lock down, hatutafanya kwa msururu wa foleni, we'll go to every household. And that's the reason. Don't panic, so don't panic to ask questions. Mungu atulinde. But if we get to a point tunataka kuja majumbani, tutakuja paka kwa doorstep and we'll know who you are because we are comparing our information with that one of the National Statistics Bureau. Maybe you want, County Commissioner, you want to add something? Ni itaongezea tu kwamba hiyo ni process ya kufanya mapping na aija kamilika. It's an ongoing process. Na sio kwamba wale wameandikishwa ndio watapewa chakula la hasha. Lakini ikifikia wakati wa chakula kila mtu ambaye anastahili atapewa. Lakini ni process tu ya kujaribu ku identify nani ago vulnerable na nani ako afadhali kidogo. Unajua kuna ile tunaita siasa ya chakula. Hautamaliza Au, kesi yake. Because at the end of the day kila mtu atasema ago vulnerable. Lakini ikifikia kwamba kweli serikali imeamua kupeana chakula kila mtu ambaye anastahili kupewa atapewa. Na wakati nyingi mimi wanasema ule mtu ako na uwezo wa kupiga simu huyo mtu ayuko vibaya sana. Kuna wale watu ambao kabisa hata hana simu huyo ndiye ana deserve zaidi ya ule anapiga simu hapa na pale huyo yako sawa. Asante. Ah uh, swali langu ni hivi umetuelezea kuwa kuna mwathiriwa mmoja ambaye alifariki jana usiku. Je kwa sasa mwili wake kwa wapi na hospitali hiyo kitu kipi kinaendelea kwa sasa? Well obviously there's a kuna national guidelines ambayo the ministry of health had, had earlier announced ambayo inafuatiliwa sisi here uh, or public health is today an implementing agent of the guidelines that are provided for by the national government more particularly ministry of health so mipango ya kuzika mwili yameanza in line with the guidelines now I, i don't know whether it is fair to mention the hospital at this point but i can tell you something has been done we've even asked our 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 experts to investigate whether that patient was handled or was provided for the care she needed at that particular private hospital and to kiona ni tofauti we'll also tell you because we're going to tell that hospital if the patient needed a ventilator na walikuwa nayo na hawakumweka tutauliza maswali so mipango yako kabambe na mimi nawashukuru kina madaktari like you've had in course general we're handling uh, six cases kuna zingine announcements tunamwachia tu mutai kagwe but they are doing a very good job and they are, they are frontliner soldiers on the ground wao ndio wanapambana na corona wewe ukisikia corona hapa unaenda hivi mimi mwenyewe nimevaa glove na mask i don't even want to shake the hand of my county commissioner hata namwambia sigusi hapa but there are people who every morning they are confronting it head on these are our nurses our doctor our clinicians who sit in hospitals waiting waiting for patients to check in so they can be looked after lazima tuwashukuru na tuombe mungu so to the doctors we really are praying for you na mungu tu ndo atawalipa mema one final question nam uh kwa majina inaitwa bonface msangi kutoka k24 kazi nzuri ambayo umeweza kufanya na pongezi kwako kwetu sio kwangu it's connected ili ni kuhusiana na pengine gharama ya vifaa hivi iwapo ile county inaweza kununua nane pengine gharama yake iko vipi kwa sasa yeah ikbal thank you a very valid question uh, mashini kama hii market value yake kama ni mpya uh, ambaye ni draga excel evita each machine costs about 6 million kenya shillings brand new so we have 10 of them uh, the value would be 60 million uh, alafu kuna kuna machine nyingine hapa yaitwa gas sterilizer that is to autoclave it's a new system latest system of autoclaving kufanya sterility machine kama hii ni kama approximately 15 million kenya shillings brand new ambaye tumenunua kutoka county uh, the county budget which was given to coast province general hospital to assist in the covid only to coast general teaching referral hospital the county has allocated to us 64 million shillings to prepare us for this uh, covid-19 coronavirus uh, fight that is there out of that we have managed to purchase eight ventilators 
anesthesia machines, delivery bed, uh, and all other consumables that might be there, monitors, patient stretchers, even the mothers that are, that, 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 that are pregnant or can, will, will deliver, etc. some of them may unfortunately also become COVID. So we need to treat them separately. Thank you. Okay, Governor Solamusho, uh, katika mpango ambao umebainisha hapa kwa pima watu kwa wingi ukijayo. Ngependa kuuliza kuna wahuduma kutosha. Alafu kisha serikali ya county ama ya kitaifa ndio ambayo itagaramia uh, mpango huu. Alafu swali lingine ni kwamba usanii wa chakula so far mmefikia wapi? Na apart from tomboya mtu apeleke chakula wapi ambapo ni sasa, sasa sasa nitakueleza kwa maswali mengi lakini nitakueleza. Kwanza I want to remind you don't ever ask me the question of what the county will do and what the national government will do. We are in this together my friend. Sisi twajituma and where we feel we need support kutoka national government we shall ask and we continue to ask the president has pronounced himself very very clearly that he wants us to also move and that is what that is exactly what we are doing here so mipango yote ambayo tumeweka uh, yako sambamba na ile tulivyokubaliana na pale initially so mass testing national government all we will ask from them is the support you saw yesterday in partnership again with national government we've been able to uh, to announce opportunities for 90 there about new employees that will come in we are reallocating duties kwa watu wetu tunafundisha watu wetu so they can never be i have never heard of a city where they have announced they have enough human resource capacity i have never heard i have never heard so don't let's not lie to ourselves that we'll get to a point where we say we have sufficient human resources. So we will never get to that point. We have to evaluate our position every other time as it evolves to Jipange, so we are responsive to the demands ambazo tunazo wakati ule. Mambo ya chakula, my friend, we have had overwhelming goodwill. Food dealers, car dealers, everybody has bought food. And we are telling them they are warehouses. We, we realize that classrooms may be a bit small, even for operations. So there are warehouses in Mombasa West, there are houses in Mombasa South, warehouses, and there's one here in Ireland that is collecting a lot of food today from the corporate world or the private sector. We are saying the point is we need to complement each other. Yali tafanya, national government tafanya, na yale wewe na mimi tutafanya and by the way even you guys are on salaries ask yourself from the fourth estate wewe mtalaki umechanga ngapi wewe chanjo umechanga ngapi umelisha familia ngapi ama tu tauliza maswali bila kuchanga wewe karim rajan you have how many neighbors how many of those neighbors have you looked after or oh, umetoa mchango wako kiasi gani all of us have a responsibility that is why you see mheshimiwa mwinyi here we are even asking the MPs when they go back, they need to get authority from their national nini? NCD, NCDF. What it is that they could do? Because when we get to a point ambayo tunaitaji msaada, eh, familia wanafaa fikiri katika door steps. Sivyo? Mwishimo, you want to say something maybe in conclusion? Tumemaliza, eh? Ah, yeah. uh, langu ni eh, kuwasihi eh, wananchi wasichukulie mambo kama ilivyokuwa dasturi e, wakati huu ni wakati ambao yale mawaidha yote yanayotolewa inafaa kufuatwa kikamilifu mambo ya kukaa maskani kama mambo ha, hayako hayafai tunawasi na kila mmoja wetu hapa akiwa na wenzake tukutuki imepakia watu watatu hiyo mwata usimamishe useme ashuke because this is actually something that everybody of us should actually take a responsibility kwenye mitaa au kwenye maskani hii maneno ya kukaa kurundikana iwacho pia vile vile i think if you go that direction we shall save lives and uh, we shall also stop the spread of this disease thank you very much
Hello? So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to, on behalf of the people of Mombasa, thank Mr. Ahmed Mohamed Al Falasi for delivering this equipment to our hospital. Mr. Al Falasi is the Hope Maker 2020 from Dubai or UAE. This is as a, an initiative taken by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, the ruler of Dubai, the Prime Minister of UAE and the Vice President of UAE, that has encouraged his citizens to do programs that are supportive to humanity and helping people. So on behalf of all of us, we say thank you very much. This will go a long way in saving many, many lives, particularly during this very trying and needy time for all of us. So mine is to say thank you to both Ahmed Mohammed Al Falasi from the UAE and also the ruler of who he initiated the program of helping people, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. We can only pray for them. May Allah reward them and bless them abundantly and give them all that they desire in life and inshallah grant them Jannatul Firdaus. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you.